Not sure why we're doing this, uh, but we're trying to be artsy, apparently, shooting this into the mirror. <laughs> wow, we are really stepping it up. But anyway, just had our 7.15 second date update. First of all, if you missed it, uh, Lana asked a hilarious question to Stephanie. Well, I was just trying to figure out what was going on because I can't figure out why she even called us. So. Do, you, <laughs> do you really think what you asked happened? It could have. <laughs> That would have been a little scary. But here is what happened. And like you said, we're not sure why she even called us. Oh. Well, Lana asked Stephanie <laughs> if uh, she pushed her date, Dustin, off the pier. <laughs> well, I was just trying to figure out. I was trying to help. Yeah, that's helpful. Uh, <laughs> that did not happen. That well, came out of nowhere. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, uh, they went to Teak on the pier. That's why Lana asked that question. Oh. Um, it'd be dangerous out there. Uh, oh, yeah. But she has not heard back from her date, Dustin, since that date, which I thought sounded awesome. And yeah. I like how they met. They met in line at Starbucks. That, it's, it's uh, you know, old-fashioned. Yes, I, like I like that. that. All right, so we got Dustin on hold right now. Let's get him on the phone right now. Hey, is this Dustin? Yes, it is. Awesome. So I know Kevin talked to you a little bit, but... I wanted to make sure I asked again if it would be okay if we talked to you on the air for a minute, uh, actually about a date you went on. Uh, sure. All right, man. Appreciate it. Well, here's who we're calling about. We're calling about Stephanie. We heard the story about you guys meeting in line at Starbucks. I guess you guys exchanged numbers. You called her, which was really cool, and you guys went to Teak on the pier. Uh, she thought things went really well. She said that you uh, have a lot of depth to you, uh, intelligent, mm -hmm. and a lot of great things to say about you. And now, I guess she reached out a few days after the date, and now it's been about a week since the date and has heard nothing, and it's kind of bummed because she really wants to see you again, man. So we're just trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah, I wouldn't be too interested in seeing her again. Um, What's up with that? I mean, it just seems like she has a really big problem with men in general. I mean, she kind of told me about why she dislikes men for about an hour. And, and I mean, she has this huge problem with men. She says they don't, they don't listen. Um, and they no, don't. They, men should have no opinion, basically. <laughs> And she just kind of told me, like, you know, guys should have no opinion and listen to women. And I just, you know. <laughs> Interesting dating approach, that's for sure. Was she, like, joking or was she trying to have a sense of humor about it or was she serious? I mean, she went on about it at length. It, it was pretty serious. Just her whole outlook on, on being with a guy is just like, you know, guy, guys should have no opinion. And they would do well to basically just listen to women all the time and have, have zero opinion about things. Um, she was just a, a, a huge nag. You know, I couldn't, <laughs> Did, couldn't imagine. I wonder if she you know, recently like, just broke up with somebody. Did she mention that? Maybe she got hurt really bad and she's still angry. Not his fault. I mean, not anything particular. You know, I think we did talk about her past and stuff. So she said, guys should not have an opinion. Guys should listen to women. And what were some other complaints she had about guys? Yeah, I mean, that was essentially, you know, like, they just said, like, guys screw up everything for, you know, whatever, like, whatever they talk, the woman is always right. And I just couldn't imagine being in a relationship with her, you know. I, I mean, if she was like that on the first date, she'd be just like a complete nag, you know, in a relationship. Hmm. Okay, well. Well, I mean, doesn't want you to talk, uh, doesn't, doesn't want your opinion, and wants you to listen. Sounds like she wants a mime, uh, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, Dustin, we actually have Stephanie on the phone with us. I want to bring uh, her back on because she, that's how we got your number. And what's interesting about this whole thing is she was speaking really highly of you. So I'm, and she reached out. She wants to go hang out with you Yeah, I'm again. super so confused about this. Uh, Stephanie, you there? I'm here. Um, wow. Were you saying those things? Well, I mean, I wasn't talking about you, Dustin. I wasn't telling that to you. I was just giving you advice and telling you, like, beneficial things to you when you're dating a girl. I mean, I, I'm a man, so... I'm trying to help you out, really, and, like, not... Because I know a lot of guys tend to say really offensive things, and so I'm trying to help you out. <laughs> I don't think that I say offensive things, even though I'm a man. I know I know you blanketed all men at this point, but um, I think it was a little too much advice for me. But I, I mean, I don't understand. Like, I really liked you, and we had a really great time. Like, why would I call a radio station if I didn't think highly of you? So that's why I think it's really. I don't know why you would call a radio station. Personal. Actually, yeah, I think maybe you wanted to call a radio station just have like a bigger platform to to nag or rag on men get the word out about men huh? 
Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's like the- not even it. I, I mean, this is the thing. You're taking it personal, and this is what I was talking about. Men well, are mean, always men. taking things personally, and 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 they always <laughs> make it about themselves. You didn't even listen to anything that I said, and so you did exactly what I told you that men do. I know. I should just shut up and listen. That's your whole perspective. Hmm. Uh, well, bad. maybe you wouldn't be in this mm. predicament. You wouldn't be in this situation right now if you would actually listen. I mean, it just feels like what a I lot saying, for a first date, Stephanie. You know, like I understand. I mean, if you have your opinions about dudes and all that, but I mean, you're talking to a dude and and trying to make a good first impression, right? So, if, do you feel like you're a little critical? I don't think so. I mean, I think I have my opinion, and I think we were having a conversation. I don't think I was being critical. I mean, if it's I would have conversation been critical, when two people are involved in it, that's just you nagging for like an hour. Like you using offensive terms like that, me being nagging, it's just, it's not okay. I mean, I, I, I thought maybe you were doing it to try to be jokey or have a funny sense of humor or something like that, but it sounds like you're, you really think this way about men? In general, did you just get burned recently or something? Yeah, I've had, I haven't had great luck, to be honest. But Were you trying to, I, like, maybe see American what type Lord. of guy he was or change him or mold him into what you want him I'm to be? I'm not trying to change him. I really like him. I think he is really a great guy. I mean, I wouldn't be trying to pursue him and calling him after he hasn't even, he ghosted me pretty much. Well, there's and that. So I, I guess the question is, Dustin, she has she is saying nice things about you um, at first anyway. Uh, but now she does want to go on another date and she did call us. I mean, would you be willing to go on another date with her? I mean, no, I clearly I, I should be working on myself. <laughs> She's pretty much made made it clear that I got some work to do. So I, I wouldn't burden her. Wow. Well, Stephanie, wow. now you know why he has not gotten back to you. I'm sorry uh, this is not going to work out. That's uh, It's an interesting approach on a first date. Yeah. Uh, but, not a you know, smart approach. What's that? It's not very smart. Oh, okay, Lana, thank you for that. All right. <laughs> oh. Stephanie, I will say this. Uh, we appreciate you reaching out to us, and I wish you luck. And thank you again, Dustin, for your time as well, guys. Sure. Okay, thank you. You got it.